Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Anon Shock, bringing you people some more content. So, for today's video, I'll be counting down the top 5 best brawls for Showdown. Now, Showdown is a game on Solo Showdown or Duo Showdown. Duo Showdown, you either lose a ton of trophies or you gain a ton of trophies. Now, Solo Showdown is basically just you playing and a targeting opponents or camping or whatever. Now, you can definitely do that in Duo Showdown too, but if you're going to camp, I'd rather I'd suggest do that in uh, Solo Showdown. Now, this is basically... Oh, let's see, actually, this Leon's looking a bit juicy. Okay. Oh, that's just so lucky. 40 HP left. Let's go. Um, but yeah, so... Basically, Mortis is in number 5. Now, just to keep in mind, I just want to say this from the start, none of these, it's just, it's not a specific order. All of them, like, 1 can be the worst, and 5 can be the best, and whatever. So, just want you people to keep that in mind. So, let's see. Um, and what I like about Mortis is you can really pick the fights. If there's, like, a Piper, or, say, there's a Bull, you'll go for the Bull, sorry, the Piper, Oh, that was a bit of a knobby move. Okay, whatever. But you guys get the idea. He's really good fat. Just the only thing that sets him down is that people can really abuse their power towards him. And really just... Really just be really annoying to use him to charge up on. And a lot of people swarm too. Now, the next one is Crow. Now, Crow is a brawler that is really good for chipping. Not good for heist. Not good for brawl ball. Not good for most game modes, but because he's good at chipping, therefore he's good at showdown. Because showdown is a very relaxed game mode. It's not like everybody are fighting so fast, and you need you only have three seconds to last, and you need to do the most damage. Basically, solo showdown is a very calm game mode where you take your time in doing whatever you want to do. Now, whether camping or teaming or whatever, you get to take your time doing that. So that's what makes Crow such a strong brawler for this because he really can just chip opponents away and really people can get so annoyed with Crow they'll just run away before even fighting him because they're so sick of versing Crows. But uh, this Piper, not liking how that Piper shot me uh, with an ambush that was really strong. I feel like there's an M's above there. Yeah, I couldn't have done anything. There were just people left, right, and center camping. Um, there wasn't much I could do, but nevertheless, a really good brawl for showdown, and I would definitely use him as solo showdown the most. Now, the next brawler is Carl. Now, Carl is pretty much best for anything. He's he's just so good for every single game, pretty much but bounty, but he's just such a good brawler in showdown because he really can get away. He can run away. Or he can use that for backstabbing teamers or just killing squishy brawls in general. His super is so good. And the fact that he has one pickaxe, it doesn't really make a difference with many things. That's just how he goes. But how he's really tanky and he can really take some shots. And also his super, his second star power is just so good. It really makes him just such a good brawl for solo showdown. Because you can slowly kill your opponents rather than having to kill them really fast. Such as using bull or shelly. So you can just swing your pickaxe at them and constantly swing your pickaxe and eventually kill them. Um, and that's why he's just such a good brawler for this. Once again, because he's a very chip brawler. He's not an instant damage brawler like someone that unloads and does so much damage so fast. And we have some teamers in the house. Uh, definitely not fun. Now, this is uh, this is when you can escape really well. So let's just... Oh, I swear, dude. Okay, so let's just hope... Okay, I hope you guys get the idea that he's really good for this. But, um, yeah, he's he's really good for this, but there are some counters definitely for him. But purely because of those bows teaming, I died. If they didn't team, then I wouldn't have died. Now, the next brawler may, um, may come to a bit of a surprise, but is Gene. Now, Gene is really good for a lot of gamers. And his second star power is just so strong in solo showdown that it really when he has it it he does so much damage he's such a threat um and considering you can once again chip away hp solo showdown is a very chipping game mode it's not a very fast paced damage dealing game mode it's a very chill relaxed game mode unless when this toxic team is teaming that's so annoying but just like this this is just ridiculous 
yeah, there's really nothing much I can do about this. Yeah, there was literally nothing I could do. Whenever people gang up on you, you just accept the fee and you lose. So, and the fifth brawler for this... Wait, hang on. Hang on, wait. I did... I did Crow. I did Carl. And I did... What's the name? Uh, his name, I mean. Gene. Actually, it can be both. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I mean, my fourth, not fifth. What, what am I saying? Where are they? Let me just quickly... Oh, yeah, and Morris. And that's fifth. Wait, where is... Oh, Gene. Here, yeah, sorry. Leon. Okay, finally, I found him. So, basically, Leon is just broken in the game, in Solo Showdown. He's basically just so overpowered when it comes to killing people because say it's dynamite up here if i had my invisibility straight away i could just go for this dude i mean i probably just <laughs> this guy's dead straight away this guy's dead me that was that wasn't even teaming that was just him i i don't even know if that was teaming i don't know comment down below if you think that that was teaming i don't think that was team mm. i don't know i mean that leon both went for me it was a bit of an unfair battle kind of feel bad for that diner i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna toxically go for him oh man this guy's um Bit of a jerk. I mean, I'm literally instead of teaming up on him, I could have. And sorry, I could have killed this guy by teaming up on him, but no, I decided to let him live. And how he thanks me is by attacking me. That's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll just use my super and kill you. So that's fine. That's fine. Let me just grab my super real quick, and I'll show you how strong it is. Okay, there we go. So now he has no idea where I am. I could be literally anywhere. Oh, crap! Now he's running away. That was in the complete direction I didn't want this guy to go, but that's fine. As you can see, this guy's panicking. He's unloading attacks. And honestly, he's not healing. I don't know why he's not. Oh, now he is. Okay. You know what? We're going to back off from this. Um, and now we're just going to come back. So, I'm back, bro. And boom. After a lot of wait... How did he not die by that zone, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know how he didn't die by the zone. He just walks in the zone with freedom and didn't die. Whenever that happens to me, it doesn't, but I die, but you know what? It's fine. I don't know what the mechanics are, just kind of thought that he would die considering, you know, he walked into the zone, but that's all right. Um, I'll jump into another match with Leon just because he's, I'll just show you guys how strong he is with this. And also he's really good for Lone Star. Uh huh, Nita's going for me. I definitely will bully the bully this Shelly a bit. Um they definitely do have range but not range advantage on me because I have more range. So let's just back off a bit. I got a bit of charge, so I got what I wanted. So let's just back off. I don't know why Forsaken Falls doesn't have um boxes and I really dislike that. That really makes the game really bland and that really supports teaming and I hate sorry, I mean camping and I hate it. Because the thing is, you can camp and have, like, the same power-ups as, like, the last two players. Pretty much. Most likely. And, like, what... <sighs> Freaking idiot. Just... Uh, who, who... Who has a Max Shelly? Which Max Shelly? And just can't... Whatever. We'll jump into one more match. But I think you guys get the idea how strong Leon is. But... He could do... He really does need power cubes... Which is why I'm not doing the most successful here. And also because it's just teaming to uh, campers. And honestly, I don't see the point in downloading a game if all you're going to do is just camp. Now, it's one thing camping here and there, but it is way too common. Way, way too common. So, I don't really see the fun in just playing a game and just camping. Like, you're not progressing. You're not gaining skill. It's, there's, there's just no pride in general. Oh, what's your strategy? Oh, man, you know, I team. It's a bit of a toxic strategy. But, you know, it still works out. Oh, what's your strategy? Oh, I camp. Literally, I just progress nothing. I just make my account look better, and yeah. But, besides the point, Leon's good at camping, but I wouldn't recommend camping with him. If you're going to have a legendary, use them wisely and don't just camp. <laughs> camping is so lame in my eyes. I don't know, it just kind of ruins the game. But, it's one thing using Bull and Sh like, I cannot even Shelly. It's one thing using Shell, um, Bull and El Primo, but it's another thing just using just random Joe Brawlers. Now, I know that there's a Daryl in there, and I... Pff, nice dash, bro. Uh, oh, Shelly. So many campers, dude. That's kind of what this... That's kind of what this... This is literally just, no, Forsaken Falls? No, 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 no. How about just Forsaken Battles? Because... Yeah, yeah never mind. Okay, I'm gonna go Invisible here. 
Okay, 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 nice, 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 nice. I know that he's using a lot of ammo, that's what I really like about that. Now, we can almost have our super. And then we can go for this, uh, this brawler right here. Whoa, that's a Daryl. What the? Um, okay, Daryl, nice strategy. I definitely like the strategy. It's definitely got a little bit of a, little bit of a theme to it. Just dash into suicidal attacks, but okay, okay. You know, I'm going to take him off this Daryl purely because he deserves it. He's literally been chasing me, like, the whole game. So, honestly, that those those people deserve getting teamed up on. Okay, let's uh, let's go back here. Oh, okay, look, we're invisible. Oh, oh, I can't believe I juked all of those. That was so good. Oh, come on. Let's go, man. That was so insane. Nice, man. Nice. Let's just do this. And you lose. Congrats. No, not congrats. What am I saying? I just want to draw this person. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I have to drop it too for just one more match. That was so cool. This is why Leon is so fun in Showdown. Because you could crush teamers. You could just do so much with Leon in Solo Showdown. And it is so strong what you can do. Well, it's so much potential on what you can do with them. But um, I really wish I got the wool wolf, wool, wool. What's his name? Werewolf. What am I saying? Wool. Werewolf skin. I really wish I had that skin. It is so dope. It just makes Leon look so awesome. But uh, I didn't have Leon then. But if I did, and if I had the gems, which I'm free to play, so gems are worth a lot when you're free to play, I would buy it. But normally, I'd go for sales, like 39 gems for a skin. That's why I have all the crappy skins, because they're 39 gems. Um, Kind of salty how Beach Brock got on, is going on sale for 39 gems and I bought boombox Brock no is this guy these people are gonna camp on me you actual that's what you get see that's what I love about team is the thing is that team is fear good players that's why they team up against them it's like the only it's like the only can uh, counter to uh, pros okay and when you go invisible they get so scared they not only waste all their ammo they run away, so it's like, you just, okay, yeah, it's, it's kind of, they kind of run away. This crow, dude, I swear. Let me run towards, this is just so toxic. Okay, whatever, we're gonna end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope this definitely helped you, um, to use the craft brawlers in Solo Showdown. Now, off of my experience, if you can see, 1,253 wins in slow showdown, so I'm, I'm a no-joke showdown player, if you just, let's just look at the, uh, let's just look at the top play, for example, Bond doesn't even have as many solo showdown wins, so I'm a pretty hardcore solo showdown player, definitely like the game it a lot, so with that all said, have a good one.